how to implement tree data structure in our prolog and here we shall be defining our own operators. So, how to define our own operators in our prolog code. So, here is the respective sample tree data structure in front of us. So, this tree data structure will be implemented and here we shall have to define the following in our tree implementation. So, op 500 x f x is parent. So, that means is parent is the name of the operator with the priority number 500 and x f x denotes that it is a binary operator. Similarly, we are going for another operator that is is at same level with the priority 500 and with f x f x means it is a binary operator. So, it will be requiring two operands to be operated on and then leaf node will be defining one predicate here and with this node variable as its argument and in this way we shall implement this tree data structure in a prolog code. So, here is this demonstration where we will be defining all these operators and the respective predicates for the tree operations. So, watch the demonstration now. Here we have defined one tree database and the each parent is a user defined operator we have defined here. So, according to this given diagram we have defined the tree database that is A is the parent of B, A is parent of C, A is parent D. So, in this way we have defined this uh, tree database in our program. Okay. Now, we are going to define another operator that is is sibling of. We know that sibling means when two children will have the same parent, then those two children will be called as siblings. So, here we have defined that x is sibling of y if z is the parent of x and z is the parent of y and x is not equal to y. So, x and y they are having the same parent let it be z and x is not equal to y. So, these three conditions are to be satisfied to become x and y as siblings. So, here we have defined this. So, now if we apply this one using g and h obviously I shall be getting answer true or yes. But if I apply g and j then obviously I shall not get the answer true here I will be getting answer no. So, let me try with them at first. So, here my program has been compiled and loaded into the memory. So, listing of the code we are having this is this is the listing of the code. So, at first we are trying with is parent i is parent p. So, i and p we have located that one in the diagram. So, answer is yes, but i is parent s. So, i is parent s the answer is no. So, we can write this is parent in this way also the query can be written in this way is parent i comma p answer is yes is parent i comma s answer is no. Okay. Now, let us go for the siblings. So, is sibling of is a respective operator. So, the query is e is sibling of f. So, that means I am searching for this e and f answer we are getting true but if we do the same in between e and g. So, E is here, G is here, then I am getting the answer no accordingly. So, this sibling can also be written in this way. So, E is sibling of within bracket E comma F getting the answer true, but for E for E and G getting the answer no. So, now we are going to define the leaf node. So, leaf node means is parent node child is not possible. That means here we have written that one as not. So, a leaf node cannot have any children. So, a leaf node cannot be a parent of another child. So, that is why we have put here not here. So, now let us go for the leaf node V. So, leaf node V here is the V we are getting the answer yes. Leaf node H. So, here is the H. So, here we are getting the answer no. Now, the next one is that X is at same level. So, X is at same level X. So, here we have defined one operator, user defined operator that, we, that is is at same level. So, obviously the same node that means here we have applied x and here we have applied x. So, obviously they are at the same level. But in case of x and y that means x is at same level y. In this case w is parent of x, z is parent of y and w is at the same level z. 
that means if their parents are at the same level then obviously their children will be also at the same level so now let us try with the, with the some queries so l is at same level s so i'm going for l i'm going for s yes they are at the same level so the answer is true but if you try this one l and v in between so l and v i'm getting the answer no is at same level ls answer is true is at same level lv the answer is no so in this way my query is executing fine so thus on this tree database we have written uh, different operators we have defined different operators and we have shown you that how to write those operators in our query for the execution thanks for watching this video